And now, marine weather around Alaska. Tonight's weather showing this weakening front sliding slowly eastward, bringing some rain to the Alaska Peninsula, rain changing to showers over the eastern Aleutians and the Pribilofs, and basically dry for the remainder of the Aleutian chain with light winds, high pressure, light winds, dry weather, slowly advancing eastward here with, over the interior areas. Uh, light snow possible Arctic coast into the eastern Brooks Range with that weak trough there and uh, clearing skies, south central Alaska continue and probably staying mostly cloudy Copper River Basin throughout the night tonight with some snow showers along the eastern Alaska range. Rain becoming lighter here and more intermittent for the panhandle as that front moves through, but another low out here off the coast will swing another trough in, keeping it uh, unsettled and wet here through tomorrow, but the rain, rainfall amounts will be much lighter than what you saw the last 24 hours. Clearing over Prince William Sound, partly mostly sunny skies, Kodiak Island, Bristol Bay, Cuscombe Valley, South Central Alaska, right up into the central western interior. Still a chance of snow along the eastern Arctic coast and some areas of uh, diminishing snow showers over the eastern interior, kind of lingering through the day. Very weak front along the southwest coast, almost a non-factor at this point. And then for Saturday, that uh, kind of stays put there. Still a chance of showers with that, mainly over Nunavak Island, on up to Savunga and Gamble, maybe the Pribilofs and possibly the eastern Aleutians, otherwise partly sunny for all of the Aleutians with fairly light winds. Mostly sunny here over the interior. Some areas of clouds though, all the way up to the Arctic coast. Chance of isolated snow showers, higher elevation at the Kenai Peninsula, that's about it. This low keeps a chance of uh, moisture, very slight chance along the North Gulf Coast. Better chances over the panhandle with that trough kind of rotating into the area there for more of a showery condition than steady rain. And for the coastal water forecast, south coast, south winds 15 knots, central coast, south to southeast to 20 knots, and east winds 15 to 20 knots on the north coast. Lynn Canal, Glacier Bay, south at 15, southeast 15 for Stevens Passage, uh, seas three feet, southeast 15 for Clarence Strait with four foot seas. And for Saturday, southeast winds 15 knots there for Clarence Strait, northeast 15 for Stevens Passage, north 15 knots for Lynn Canal, and uh, the south coast here, east-southeast, 10 to 15 knots with six-foot seas. East winds on the central coast at 10 to 15 knots. And east winds, 15 knots for the north coast. Cook Inlet, variable winds to 10 knots for the day Friday. Northwest, 15 to 20 here. Kamishak Bay and the Barren Islands, seas only four feet. Otherwise, Prince William Sound and the north Gulf Coast. Light variable winds for the day on Friday with seas here on the coast or out offshore there at four feet, two feet for Prince William Sound. And variable winds continue on to Saturday for Prince William Sound, light and variable. East northeast at about 15 for the eastern North Gulf Coast, but for Kamishak Bay, the Barren Islands, western North Gulf Coast, light variable winds at 10 knots, seas down to two to three feet. And Cook Inlet, light variable winds, 10 knots, more of a northerly direction though south of the forelands with seas only two to three feet. Kodiak Island, variable to northwest winds, 10 to 15 knots for Friday. Small craft advisories for the Alaska Peninsula, west winds, 25 knots. Winds light and variable for Bristol Bay with two foot seas. And southwest to 10 for Bristol Bay with four foot seas on Saturday. Alaska Peninsula westerlies, 15 to 20 knots with five to eight, or actually three to eight foot seas. Variable winds, light and variable winds for Kodiak Island with seas down to two to three feet. Eastern Aleutians, uh, west winds, 20 to 30 knots for the day Friday with eight foot seas. Southwest 20 knots, Adak and Atka. And southwest 20 to 25 knots for the Western Aleutians. And for Saturday, west southwest 20 to 25 knots here west of Adak. Central Aleutian areas, west 20 to 25 knots. And west winds, 20 to 25 knots for the Fox Islands. And for the southwest coast, uh, the day tomorrow, southeast winds 15 to 20 knots, southeast 15 St. Lawrence Island, southeast at 10 for Norton Sound. West winds at about 20 for the Pribilofs, southwest 25 for St. Matthew Island, seas out here around 10 feet. And for Saturday, St. Paul and St. George, west winds 25 knots, seas 10 feet. Southwest 25, St. Matthew Island with 10 foot seas along the coast, south winds 15 knots, three to four foot seas. Norton Sound and St. Lawrence Island, southeast at 15, seas three feet. 
And for tomorrow, Eastern Boulevard Sea Coast, small craft advisories for west winds at 25 knots, seas 5 feet, west to 20 on the central coast with 6-foot seas, and northwest at 10 on the west side. And for the Chuck CC, variable winds, 5 to 10 knots with 1 to 3-foot seas. And for Saturday, here for the Chuck CC, east to southeast winds at about 10 knots, western Arctic coast northwest at 10, and the central coast west at 15, while the eastern Boulevard Sea coast uh, looking at a west wind at 20 knots with four foot seas.